So you're probably wondering how professional developers can use Tailwind CSNs to build websites like this, maybe like this for the NASA, maybe Netflix, which is all built using Tailwind CSS, or even this really awesome design. Well, in this particular video, we will see top tools you can use as a Tailwind CSS developer to build top-notch professional websites. And those tools are gonna be more of like VS Code extensions, Tailwind CSS plugins that's gonna boost your productivity and online tools and website you absolutely need as a developer. So we're all familiar with Tailwind CSS and how awesome it is to be able to use like pre-made utility class inside of your application to style, you know, the whole application with a bunch of stuff and with the pre-made stuff. But for some of you who already uses something like standard components, who love the way that having CSS in JS actually works and just like, you know, the separating concern of working with all of those, you're probably missing like using Tailwind and in a style where you have it like CSS and JS, but it still uses Tailwind. Is that even possible? Well, likely for us, there is like absolutely everything is possible in the tech world. And particularly, there is a really awesome library in here called Twin Macro. It's more of a, a macro or a Babel macro, if you're familiar with those. It's not like a, a library, but this is going to allow you to blend the magic of Tailwind with the flexibility of CSS and JS. And in fact, it's going to allow you to use something like this. So you can import Tailwind and you can use exactly Tailwind right into the input in here for having like CSS and JS, or you can have it the same way as you would do with, with style components. You create like a component, like a custom input component, then you can reuse it or maybe override that. A bunch of stuff or whatever is actually possible in the style component kind of word. You can do it with Tailwind in here and you can support every single aspect of Tailwind CSS. So so if you want to like get started with this and installing your projects, it's pretty much available for all projects, whether you're using Parcel, Webpack, the Create React app, Fight in here, which is Vit, I should, I should name this Vit. But yeah, if, if you're using Vit, for example, in my case in here, which a lot of people are just migrating to Vit nowadays, you can install it really easy. You can just go and install like a couple of like, you know, uh, initialize, create style components, you install the macros and the Pavel macros and all the all the stuff in here. And you can do some, some sort of like, you know, setup in here. It's just pretty easy and pretty straightforward. After that, you can actually get started and start using it. So for example, in my projects in here, I already set up and everything. I already put like the Twin for the Babel macros in here. Uh, I also just avoid the config file or the config kind of like root file we put in here. It's better to put in the pack.json. So to see the actual benefit of using Tailwind in a, in a CSS and JS kind of style versus using it just like in putting it in classes and how we regularly use it, we got a simple application in here. We got like an application that is like an e-commerce store that just gonna you know show you a bunch of products and everything. So for instance, if you jump to the actual implementation in here, I got two for the, for the products in here, got the bad implementation and it got the index in here, which is like the good implementation. So so for the bad one in here, let's see why this is bad. This is just using the regular like Tailwind one CSS without using uh, CSS and JS without using Twin and just putting the classes right into the GSX itself, which makes it super kind of like ugly and super confusing to be honest. I'm not a big fan of this way. I absolutely hate this way and putting classes right over here. So if you try for instance to go through the like product space, you see there's a bunch of CSS classes or a bunch of Tailwind classes, utility classes are just making it super uh, hard to read and you don't don't know exactly which one does a bunch of divs in here which makes it not readable you don't know what this section actually means or what the top section or the middle section in here what is this for and plus obviously you read the code and you go deeper into the code unless like you won't understand otherwise but if you jump to the good implementation in this one we're using twin as you in here i'm importing twin from the twin macro and i'm doing twin.dev and i'm just using cs and js and as you in here I'm actually using Tailwind CSS kind of utility classes right into this. It's basically the same style as you would do a style component. So I'm putting all of those like product container, content, title, rating, uh, rating value, a bunch of them. And if I jump to the GSX real quickly, as you see here, the GSX now is so much easier to read. It's like super tidy. You know exactly like, oh, this is a detail section. This is a price. This is a button for add to cart. This is rating. This is rating value. Uh, we've got the content in here. We got, for example, this is a thumbnail. You know, this is actually the main container. And it just like, you don't need those extra classes. And if you ever need to go change this, you can click on it. It's gonna take you right into the implementation and you can do whatever in here. Like you wanna add a background color sort of thing, whatever, uh, maybe you wanna add a color of Adobe um, on the background in here, which I already have a white one. 
Yeah, you can do that. And one other way you can actually use this without the tune or exactly with the style components. So let's imagine here we've got a thumbnail image, we've got style components. And let's say we want to pass some props into our like thumbnail image in here, like, you know, as we do it with style components. So we create some components, we do it like an image or whatever, we pass in the props in here, let's say when I'm going to pass an is large kind of props into this components. And I can use T win straight into style components. And excuse in here, I can use any class I want. And Particularly, I can use like whatever prompts I pass it through in here, I can interpret that and I can just use it to decide which Tailwind CSS class or utility I want to apply versus which I don't want to apply. It's super nice. Now, if I go to like some VS Code extensions, that's going to help you a lot working with your Tailwind code and it's going to improve the productivity and just help you in general. Um, speaking of which, there is a really awesome kind of like extension that allows you to sort out all the utility classes in here in kind of like whatever order you want, you can configure that order, but it just like sorts it out with like a default class order coming from the official Tailwind CSS. So for example, in here, we've got this component in here that has a class name and it has a bunch of Tailwind CSS classes. So using the headwind extension, this will allow us to automatically sort whenever we hit control S or whenever we like save our file in here. So as you see, we got the utility classes now they are not like ordered the same way they're officially should be so if i click control s in here it should be like having the right order where you have like the display then you have the wave again then you have the text then the background is last in here so this is like the you know the regular order that you should put your css classes or your tailwind css classes at and obviously you can customize that however you want on the headwind configuration and if we don't get the actual awesome ability to have vs code actually recognize that and give you an into license of the tailwind class is whenever you use Twin in here with with this like CSS and JS style, it, something like this where you do like background, for example, and it's just going to give you this really awesome enter license and you can go through all of those and you can select, for example, uh, whatever like, you know, colors you got in here. There's a really awesome extension for that. It's called Tailwind Twin enter license. And another really awesome Tailwind VS Code extension that I absolutely loved whenever like since I started using this has been absolutely amazing because before whenever I wanted to know about some utility class or I want to know some documentation I go to Google and start googling stuff but there is no more of that with this just real awesome extension so this is basically going to allow you to access the documentation straight from your VS code editor all you're going to do is actually open the palette which is like um, like command shift p if you're in Mac and all you do is just like tailwind and you can give you a bunch of stuff for example I want to do some tailwind I want to know about the text align so you go tailwind docs click that this is going to go ahead and open open that doc documentation straight through without me going to Google stuff. Now for Tailwind plugins, there is two awesome plugins I absolutely adore. So the first one called Tailwind debug screens. And this particularly is going to allow you to know which screen size you're currently on for responsive design. So let's create for example in here, as clearly seen here, the web page in it tells you screen, this is a small screen. And if you just resize the web page, it's going to tell you XL, double XL, so on and so forth. So if you go to the responsive design in here, as clearly seen like as I resize the web page in here, I know like this is SM or MD uh, or LG and it just so on and so forth. And it's going to help you a lot debug and work with responsive kind of design on your Tailwind CSS projects. And the other awesome plugin in here is called Tailwind CSS Brand Colors, which allows you to use like common and, you know, well-known brands like Google or maybe Twitch, Reddit, Facebook, like, you know, the, the color palettes of those and use them directly on your Tailwind project. I like this because you can simply do, for example, I want a text and I want to go ahead and do an Airbnb kind of like color text. I want a background color of Adobe or something and you can use that straight through without without going and searching and copy pasting them. And for simply installing those, just install Tailwind CSS debug screens and the brand colors in here. And you go to the Tailwind configuration inside of the plugins, you need to require both of these. And that is it. This is all you need to do. And those plugins are going to just like start working immediately. Now, when it comes to really awesome Tailwind CSS tools, that's going to help you and boost your productivity and just going to make you do small tasks actually faster uh, without going through the complicated parts. Well, first one, there's actually the tail blocks, which is tailblocks.cc in here. And this one is just absolutely amazing. It's open source, it's free of charge, and you can use it however you want. 
And this one, it does actually allow you, you can actually use pre-built components and you can just go to like, for example, this, this e-commerce, it allows you to, uh, if you like a different e-commerce product, this is a design of e-commerce store. You can go to the view code and you can copy the code, like literally copy the code and the code in here is built using table TSS. Or maybe you want a CTA in here. Maybe you want a login page and a sign up page. You can do that. Um, features, there's a bunch of stuff. And as you go down and down, maybe you've got like a footer in here, view the code, you can just copy copy the code in here, go to your projects, paste it there and done. There's another website as well, which is called Tailwind Toolbox. Uh, so tailwindtoolbox.com. By the way, you're gonna find all these links down in the description below, don't worry. And another really awesome tool that I know every single Tailwind CSS developer should use, it's gonna allow you to actually create your own like custom gradients on Tailwind. And you can have them, for example, you can select different colors and you can say, oh, I wanna use the from variant or the two or um, uh, like however you wanna put it in here. And last but not least, a really awesome tool for CSS guys and Tailwind CSS guys. It's a tool that allows you to convert actual CSS code right into Tailwind CSS code. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope you liked these tools and hope you can use them to boost your productivity.